Hello everyone. Welcome back to Scratch Programming. Children, in today's class, we will learn about data block. If you want to watch more videos related to Scratch Programming, I will attach the link here on the top and at the end screen. So, let's start. So, here you can see our Scratch window. So, I have already included two sprites here. I will show you data data block okay here in the menu block uh, here in the block men blocks menu only motion look sound pan and data block now uh, let me add few motion blocks here so okay so i'll add here points toward points toward my other sprite parrot too and it will go forever and uh, then again in motion it will move 10 steps okay so here children I have included few motion blocks here now I'll show you the data block now here in the data blocks children the first block is make a variable okay so I'll show you here make a variable only so now make a variable means whenever you want to include any variable into your scratch programming variable means a placeholder which in uh, uh, which can change its value every time okay means its value will be vary every time so here i am uh, putting a value like uh, score okay so i am putting one variable score so here you can see two options are there so uh, you want to visible uh, visibility uh, these two options is for visibility only means you want that this uh, variable will be global means available for all the sprite or you want to make it private means for that particular sprite only so I want to make it global variable means available for all the sprites now I'm clicking on okay the moment I have created this code or that variable children you can see we can see her score uh, on the stage area okay now let's right click here so here you can see children we have options if we want we can make it normal readout means the normal that you can see on the screen the next one is large readout so let's click here see so this is large readout so whenever you want that your score will appear like this you can make it like this large readout and slider means whenever this um, score will increase it will uh, increasing this slider see you can see i'm moving this louder and score is increasing okay it's uh, from 0 to 100 so let me make it normal readout and here children you can see one report block is here so report block you already know whenever you click on the report block the block will be available on the stage area only and when you uncheck this box it will be gone so I want that everyone can see this score uh, on the stage area. So that's why I'm clicking on this check button. I'm checking this button. Now, here you can see set score to. Okay, set score to means whenever you want, you can set your score to zero. So we want that whenever we start our program, we'll set the score to zero okay because uh, if we are uh, making any game so in game we uh, whenever we play a game our scroll score will keep running right so what we want every time whenever we start that game again it will set to zero and then only whenever someone will get the score it will increase so here i have uh, uh, set set score to zero now here few more option change score by show variable and hide variable so whenever you want to show the variable you can use this and whenever you want to hide the variable you can use this see i have clicked on hide variable so it's gone from the stage area i am clicking on show variable and it's back to stage area so this is the use of this show variable and hide variable now i'll show you change score by so now what i want i want whenever it will uh, my cat will touch because all the coding that I am doing, I am doing on the cat only. So now I want whenever my cat will touch this parrot, it will uh, it will uh, change the score. Okay. So what I am doing, I am going to control. Uh, I am going to control block, and here I am putting one if block inside 
this forever block and I am putting here sensing block. We have not discussed these blocks yet. Don't worry, we'll discuss it later. But yeah, few blocks I can explain you. If uh, then means it's like a condition means if something will happen, then only it will execute the block that we will include here. Okay, so if condition will be true, then only it will execute the part that will include inside this if block. So this is conditional block if now I am using touching and putting it inside the if. So this is the condition, boolean condition. Boolean means uh, its value either will be true or will be false. So if it will touch the parrot too. Okay, so whenever my parrot or my cat will touch the parrot, okay, whenever my cat will touch the parrot, it will change the score by 1. So whenever it will touch the parrot, this condition will be true, then only it will increase the score. Okay, so this is my condition. Now, uh, let me use one more block from here. If on age, bounce. Okay, so this is the coding that I have done. So let's see, let's start the program and let's see how it will work. Okay, so I am clicking on it. See, it is moving. Okay, now whenever it will touch, the score is increasing. Now it is not touching and see, the moment it is touching, it is increasing the point. See, I am keep touching here. So it is increasing the point every time. Okay, so this is how it will work children this is how it will work so whenever you want that in your game that one sprite will follow the other sprite and whenever it will touch the sprite the score will get increased so we can use the variable and we can put it uh, in the script and we can use it like this okay so the set score and change score we have already seen the show variable and height variable now if you want see here i am right clicking on this score report block now you can see rename variable is there delete variable is there and help is there so whenever you want to rename the variable you can click on this rename and you can change the name here points okay see it's changed to points only okay and it is changed here it changed here also so this is how we can rename the variable and this is how you can use this uh, variable option so whenever you want to put points or score or mark on the stage area you can use make a variable now children i'll show you make a list the other option that we can see in the data First, we have seen the make a variable. Now, we'll see make a list. Now, click on make a list. Here, first, when list means a collection of something. Okay, collection of something means it, uh, it can be a collection of fruit. It can be collection of books. It can be collection of uh, vegetables or anything, anything. Okay, so here we have list name. So, I am including the list uh, fruits fruits okay this is my list name again you want to make it global or private global means it's visible for all and private means for this sprite only means it will be visible or available for that particular sprite other sprites cannot use this list now i am clicking uh, i have selected i am not changing the selection here it will available for all the sprites now clicking on okay see here uh, let me remove this points now at the moment when I click here, make a list, so many options are here. And the very first option that we can see the report block fruits. I'm unchecking and checking it. See here. So whenever uh, you can see your report block is here, report block means you can see the things on the stage area. So here we can see only fruits and we can see it's empty. Why? Because we have not included anything here. So, uh, it is showing its length, length is 0. So, N1 plus sign. Plus sign means if you want, you can include items here also. Like I am including apple. Okay. So, this is how if you want, you can include items here also. Otherwise, we have option add. Add thing to fruits. So, now I am changing the value here. 
I am adding banana here. So let me click on this. See, it's added here. So whenever you want to include more fruits here, you can change the name here and uh, and just run the script. See, grapes is added here. Now next we have delete option. Delete option means whenever you want to delete any item, you can see here numbers are already here, right? With the fruit name or with the uh, names that are present in the list, we have list number also means item number is also available. So here you can delete item. We have only one list. So that's why we can see only one list here. You can include more than one list also. Uh, now here you can delete any item from the list. Okay, so we have three options. One, last and all means you can delete the option by its number. Uh, item by its number you can delete the last option uh, the last item or even you can delete them all okay now let me put the number and i am changing the number here to two so number two means banana now i am clicking here see the banana is deleted now and we can see grabs taken its position at number two okay now if you want to delete it again you can click delete See, now the number two item was grabs, so it was deleted. So this is how we can delete the item. Now, inserting thing. So here, uh, let me include more things here. Let me include grabs, orange, and banana again. Okay. So now you can see I have four items in my list. Now, here we have insert thing at position of fruits so whenever you want to insert a new item in the list you can use insert item now add and insert you can see both will work the same right with the add also we can include item in the list and with the insert also we can include item in the list but there is a specific difference if you will include any item with this add button Okay, I have included banana again. So here you can see it is including the same item at the end. Okay, let me delete this. Give me a minute. Uh, so banana at number four, I want to delete. I am deleting this. Okay, so I have deleted. Now I am including one more item here. Strawberry. Okay, so now see the change. Whenever I am including a new item, it is including at the end of the list. Okay, but every time whenever you include it will end at, uh, at the item at the end of the list. But with the help of insert, you can insert a new item at any place in the list. Random position, last or even you can choose the item number as per your choice also. Now here I am trying to include one more item like guava and now I want to include it at number 4. I am clicking here number 4. So what will happen here? Here it will include guava but at 4th position. Now you can see 4th position. Uh, here at the 4th position we have banana. Now I am clicking on insert. See? Now it has inserted guava at number 4 and banana skip to number 5. Okay, so if you want to insert any time, uh, at, uh, you, can, you want to insert any item at a particular position, you can use insert. But if you want to add any item at the end of the list, you can use add items. Now, let's see few more options. Now we have replace item okay replace means whenever you want to replace one item with the another one so here you can see replace item now we have here strawberry okay at number six so let me change the number or this time we'll use this last okay now i want to replace this strawberry to carrot 
though carrot is not a fruit but i want to replace it okay so here i am uh, what i have uh, selected here i have replaced uh, i want to replace the last item with carrot now let me click see the number 6th item you can see now it's carrot only means it has replaced that particular item okay now i'll show you one more time here now i want to replace this carrot to the other fruit so let's say other fruit is um, okay let me take it again that strawberry is okay so i am putting here strawberry again so i am replacing this carrot again with the strawberry so it's come back okay so this is how we can replace the item now children next we have item of fruits so uh, with the help of this okay i'll show you here so it is showing me the name of that particular item which uh, which is uh, placed at certain location so here uh, you can see number 1 last and random is also available so here i am changing the name and see so at any point of time you want to identify the uh, fruit name okay so uh, what you can do you just put here in the item here you can put the number and it will change see like this okay so at any point of time you want uh to uh, uh, to you want to get the name of that particular item which is placed at certain position or at certain number you can use this so i'll show you here in the looks block let me add say hello and here i am putting this okay so see what it will uh, what it will show now i am clicking here and it is showing the uh, item name which is placed at number 2 now i am putting it random so it will randomly it will show any fruit so it is showing strawberry now let me change the number here to 4 so fourth position we have guava so it is showing the same thing so in this way we can use this report block uh, inside the c block also okay so this is showing the name of the item which is placed at certain position or at certain number now just below this item we have length okay so at any point of time you want to you want that your sprite will say the length of your uh, of your list okay so length of the list means the total items that you have in the list so in the list we have total six item you can see length is here also so see it is saying the length now okay now next we have fruit contents thing okay so you can see uh, it's a kind of uh, hexagon hexagon means uh, this is the boolean block boolean block means i told you boolean block means which has only two values either true or false so whenever we want to check the condition wait let me include something from control block so here you can see the same kind of uh, space you can see in this boolean in this conditional block if then okay so this is for condition only at any point of time you want to check that that particular thing is uh, in the list or not so you can check with this boolean block okay so now i want that it will show uh, it will ask for the watermelon okay so now i want it will check whether watermelon is there or not okay so if watermelon is there it will say yes okay so if watermelon watermelon will be there then it will say yes okay let me take this one if else so if else means if this condition is true then in then it will execute the block that i have put just after the if 
but the condition is false means it will uh, if it will give the answer in false or um, not true then it will execute else block okay if means if condition is true else if condition is not true so let me duplicate it and put it here okay no so here you can see what i have done here i have done if fruit contains watermelon let me add few more block so what i have done here i have done here in if block i have put uh, if in the list fruit watermelon is there it will say yes if watermelon is not there if this condition is not true then it will say no and it will add watermelon in the list now let's execute this it is saying no and see it has added watermelon here okay so uh, this is how we can use this boolean draw block inside the conditional block children next we have show list and hide list so at any point of time you want to hide your list either you can uncheck it from here or uh, uh, in between the program you want to hide it uh, according to the condi condition you can click here and see it's hide now uh, hidden and now uh, whenever you want to show it put this show block so it is visible again when we right click here we can see delete list and help so at any point of time you can delete your list let's right click here so you can import export or you can hide your list at any point of time you can include items here and if you want you can uh, increase the length or width of your particular list like this okay so this is how we can use this data block children so first we have seen how we can include a variable how we can change its value show and hide it and then we have learned how we can include a list list means a collection of something okay so we have seen how we can add a value how we can delete a value how we can insert a value at certain position how we can replace the item and we have used few repeat block like items in the list and uh, length of fruits then we have uh, seen one boolean block that uh, that particular list is containing that item or not so we have seen this also show hide almost all the things we have seen from the data block so this is all about data block children uh, if you enjoyed my video, please uh, click on like button and give a thumbs up here and uh, share it with your friends and subscribe my channel so that you will, uh, uh, you will get further updates. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.